clears. Don't see that every day. Thank you very much, Anna Joe. Back underway here at the UCF Soccer Complex. The Knights. Looks like Mishailis is wearing number three. Or no, check that. Mishailis is playing out at right back, and Crivolo has come in at center back next to Zane Bubb. Ball goes into the box, bouncing, but cleared away in a battle with Emmanuel Baum for that starting role. He gets the nod tonight. Here's his left-footed corner. The flick on is over the bar. Off the head of Zane Bob. Not a bad effort there from the Knights. Decent ball in from Haskinen, but nothing out of it. Yep, good delivery, good whip. Just couldn't get over it. Good defensive. Haskinen, Mishaelis, here's the cross, and a missed volley from Belatrash, put back across by Rosa, and then Haskinen's offside. Well, good job of providing space for Michelle Ace, but the cross is always going to be awkward. It's about hip height. And Belatrash trying the old scissors kick. Doesn't pay off. All the big ones, they, they, they got through West Virginia, Marshall, and Kentucky all at the start of the conference season. But this is a deep league. There are no off nights. Here's Sigfashin. Little pop-up, Bub heads away in front of Santos and Kjartison. Well, it was his second ball that got into Sigfashin's stride. The cross was not the only fullbacks to come around because that's where the space is. Hey, going in. Rips a shot. Oh, and Alex Hare up to the task. Haskinen testing the Coastal Carolina goalkeeper for the first time. Well, with Mikael is staying home, Haskinen has the green light to just run at the player, and he did exactly. Here's Avador. Ranging forward, a long range blast! Not off by much for Clarence Avador. Scott Calabrese wants to see more goals from the youngster out of France. Well, Bell Bellatrash is going to get those opportunities Bell as Carolina sits back. Those pockets are going to open up for the midfielders. And the number 10, not too far off. Great technique. Bell. Here it comes from Haskinen. High arcing delivery. It's Bub again, but it lands on the top of the net. He's not quite been able to get over these big center backs from Coastal Carolina and get that shot down. Yeah, I just want to see that delivery by his skin and just a little bit closer to the six yard box. Zane Bob has so much work to do out there, not only to get it on target, but. Here's Kjartensen skipping one into the box, and there he is, Zane Bob. Klassen on the volley, and out for a goal kick. Yeah, Zane Bob got that badge of honor on September 5th, defensive player of the Super week, goal nice. Big 12. Well, he wants to overload on one side, but when you do overload, the switch has to be very quick to get the back door. Here they come. It seals from the byline, clips it up. The volley over the bar. Not a bad effort from Luca Dorado. You cannot blame him for feeling himself right now. Down the left, it's Anderson Rosa from the corner. Vicious ball in, it falls to the back post, and Haskinen scuffs the finish as it rolls harmlessly away. A.J. Seals was in there as well. What a delivery from Anderson Rosa. Yeah, the little one-two to spring himself open, and a good delivery right across, enough for all the forwards to be involved. Even short Haskinen could get involved as it's across on the ground. But it's Into midfield. Here's Anderson Rosa again, getting free down the left. Another ball in, this time headed away by Bach. Dorado, great touch, big save, Hare, cleared away by Bach. What a touch that was by Luca Dorado. Lets him get off a shot, but Alex Hare was up to it. Well, the Brazilian doing Brazilian things. Look at this touch. Takes the defender right out to the play, opens his hips up. But Alex Hare alive to it, keeps the score at zero. But again, Anderson Rosa, the provider, finding space on the left-hand side. Deep cross, but again, this touch, you just can't teach that, ever. Balls for Haskinen. UCF starting to pepper the Chanticleer goal. Haskinen curls it, header right at Hare from Dorado, who is knocking on the door, but UCF yet to break through. Well, again, Bella Trash finding that spot, that slot right in front of the four, and having another great, great bit of technique, and Alex here as well. 
And then the second shot, again, he's going to just loft it into Dorado. Too weak of a... Oh, Calabrese, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> Bella Trash. Ball slipped in behind. Here's Haskinen! <laughs> it's Alan Orr, in fact, who gets the goal. UCF, it, is, it was coming. And the Knights have their lead. Alador second of the season. Well, Alador had a couple of shots before this one. Luca Dorado pulling wide. And the second ball drops lovely for Alador. On his weaker left foot, Evan. But his technique was there. He kept his head down and found the last post. Tell you what, that's why I thought it was Aiskinen. The left-footed finish from Alador. You don't see that. But this is a really talented young man. And how Maybe they could nod one down for one another. Things opening up, but the header through from Roditi finds no one on a Sunday against Texas Tech. Here comes Alvador, fresh off the goal. Dorado, Dorado whips oh. a shot just wide. Furious turn from the Brazilian and just missed the target. Well, the snapshot on the weaker left foot. This is what Luca Dorado can provide on the left hand side. He's now tucked in. He's in the middle of the field. As an attacking midfielder, and they've now gone to a 3 2 2 3. Here's Haskinen looking back post for Alador, but it's Hare reading the play well. It is coaches that are obsessed. They look pretty good in black and gold, too. Here's AJ Seals. Slaloming through, puts one on the ground, the shot, save, rebound is in. Luca Dorado. But the flag is up for offside on the rebound. No goal. Well, it was the initial pass into the running. I believe it was AJ Seals picking out this pass, so would you beauty in between the center backs. Owen Dorm making the run, but Luca Dorado was already offside when AJ Seals made that pass, which means Dorado cannot make use of that space that he had. He's taking it with 11. Owen for Haskinen, he's offside. Clever run down. 10. Dorado playing Eight, forward. Seven, Is there any time six, here? Five, Clipped ahead. Haskin in. Three, out with Hare, two, who smothers it. One, and that's the end of the zero. half. Well, UCF found their footing after about 15 minutes. Clarence Alvador on the half hour mark gets his second goal of the season. For the rest of the nation to see. Played over the summer in USL League Two, which is the semi pro league. Here's an early shot, big save, Hare. And was that Alador or Bella Trosh? The Space U jersey is hard to tell the number. It was Alador looking for a second one. Yep, like Coach Calabrese says, he's not staying outside. He's tucking in between the center back and the wing back and finding More pockets of space. And with his UCF made their first change. Bomb for Haskin in at halftime as the corner nodded away. Headed back into the box towards Zane Bub, then a shot, big save, hair, but it trickles in! It's Rafael Crivolo with his first goal for UCF. Alex Hare, 90% of the job, but the other 10% slips past him, and UCF has their cushion. What a moment for Crivello. He got injured on this very ground. Zane Bob had to replace him. And they win the second ball, Knights. And Crivello takes no time. Great shot, a little bit of luck. Hits the post, comes off of Alex Harris back. But what about that placement by the defender? And in fact, technically that should go down as an own goal on Alex Hare. But what a moment. It would be terrible misfortune. But Crivello celebrating it like it's his. And it absolutely is. Yeah. Here go the Knights on the break. Dorado angling for one of his own. Hare with a save. Luca wants that goal so badly. This close to the Knights, third of the night. Carolina living dangerously. Munoz, the goalkeeper. Here's Baum. In for Dorado. Back to Baum! And there's the third. And Manuel Baum off the bench and onto the score sheet. 
And the Knights starting to run away from Coastal Carolina. Well, it's poetry in motion for the Knights. Good to see Coach Calabrese. Emmanuel Baum, very well instructed in what to look for. Cutting inside, looking for Dorado, but he plays off of Dorado like a wall. He plays it into Dorado and a little one two right back into his path. And what a finish. There's the AD, Terry Mahajer. He loves it. His number two Knights, 3 0 up. Here's Baum coming in, being aggressive, looking for Dorado, plays it into his feet. What does a Brazilian do? One, two, and the left footer down in the corner. All technique, but Baum was being aggressive. Baum was looking for, these, for, the, for the return ball, and when he did, boy, did he not miss. And Coach Calabrese has... Scott Calabrese talked to us about how Munoz has really adapted well. His numbers have taken off in his second year. Santos from long range, and there he is, Juan B. Munoz with a big save to keep the clean sheet for UCF. A great hit by the Brazilian. A little bit of daylight. First time we've seen daylight all night. And Back line. Here's Rosa popping up and attacking midfield again. Rosa with a drive straight at hair. Well, the reason he popped up because he's tucked right inside as a hole in midfielder, not paying his traditional left back. So as the ball comes into the area, here's Klassen for Coastal Carolina. Back to Bjarkeson. Trying to keep this alive with the second phase. In it goes. Flicked along, but Munoz will run it down. So good. Haskin oh. in. That's lovely. In behind for Seals. And just pushed away for a corner by Valdemarsen. Yeah. Junior Trusillo looking for his first collegiate oh, goal. The high IQ, the close skill, just toying with the defender and waits for Seals to come around. Plays the man in space. And great defending in the end by Carolina, but he's getting a different gravy. It was you and Gordon, actually. Short corner. Little training ground set play. Haskin and dribbling into the box. Rips a shot. He scores! Take a bow. Saku Haskinen. Extraordinary off the corner. And it's 4-0. Well, he was toying with them before, but he wasn't finished yet. And there it is. The freshman, not so freshman, Hiskinen. Comes inside, excuse me, takes one, takes two, regains his balance. And look at the technique, puts his laces on it. And it's a grounders. It's a daisy cutter, Evan. Your mother used to argue about it all the time in the backyard as it gets into the back of the net. Fourth goal of a terrific freshman year for Saku Haskin in Florida, but I wonder if maybe that gives him a little bit of that creativity in tight spaces and his ability to, oh to do exactly what he just did. And here's another chance as Alvador picks it off. alvador has got another! <laughs> Hold on, it's Bellatrosh. I told you that 10 and that 18 was going to get me. <laughs> it's the I hair. I told you. It's the hair. My one, my one criticism of the Space U jersey. Let's widen those numbers out a little bit. It's Yanis Belatraj. That's his first collegiate goal. Great moment for the youngster out of France. And UCF is pouring it on. When it starts without the ball, Evan, they press, they press, they press. And he steals it right here. He still has a lot of work to do. Gets on his left foot and just calmly tucks it past Alex here, who's oncoming. He takes his time, looks up, sees the gap, takes a lot of composure. And boy, this Knights team, I tell you what, it's the uniform. Rugby World Cup is on to the semifinals as well. I always make this rant. Everybody loves fall. Every single <laughs> occasion lands in fall. Hair picking this one. See if UCF can get some of these youngsters on the score sheet. It's Mueller, one of those, just his second game for UCF. Mueller driving in towards the byline and popped up off of Pui. And the volley, oh. Bindakan! Just wide. Well, it popped up beautifully for Bindakan. And the second ball right here. Puts his laces on it, just couldn't keep it inside that post. The outlets, like you sport people. Eight, seven, six, Final moments five, here. 
of a dominant Three, UCF two, performance. A late one, shot, zero. nothing to it, but they'll take five. A tremendous 90 minutes from Scott Kelly.